A school devastated by cancer, Garrison Forest students turned to each other in hard times, actually creating a Komen team to empower their peers. You know, that was 20 years ago, 20 years ago, and today ABC2 newscast at Carlisle tells us they're stronger than ever. It was brutal. It's not a pretty... I hate cancer. And I, just, I mean, I hate cancer. What it does to people is so unforgivable. It's not tears. It's anger and strength, the women at Garrison Forest Girls School show when they talk about cancer. This is her room. That's what I'm saying. This is, I took over her role, her room. Um, yeah. She's talking about her coworker and best friend who lost her battle to breast cancer seven years ago. And she's reminded of her every day. You know, things fall down in desk drawers and I'll sometimes pull something out and it's, you know, in Erin's handwriting or Erin's notes. The story of loss echoed across campus. Ninth grader Pippin will never talk with her mother about homework or a high school sweetheart. When I was in third grade, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. And um, in fourth grade, she was, you know, cured. The cancer came back two years later in her brain, ripping her from her family that summer. It's still hard today, but, you know, just us talking about her as a family really keeps her memory alive. All of it relived at Komen. The GFS team started 20 years ago. Students wanting to empower each other through awareness. Then parents and faculty stepped in. The love and support helped them win the team challenge, having the biggest team at the race the last five years in a row, lifting up their GFS family who feel the pain when they walk. I really felt like a survivor then. That was the important part. Alexandra McMahon is talking about walking across the finish line for the first time as a survivor. She's an alumna and parent at GFS. When she battled cancer, her friends and former classmates made it possible to trudge forward. That was very important and, and very, it, it made me feel better about what I was going through. McMahon survived her year battle and is teaching her two girls about breast cancer. Pippin hopes it doesn't take a close call or a tragedy to start the conversation, and that one day we'll all have a cure. In Owings Mills, Cassie Carlisle, ABC2 News.